Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. I want to give you a quick example setup from one of our signals, from our signals membership today for the 29th of January 2018. I'm going to look at potential long. Our members just simply click on the image here and download a spreadsheet for both longs and shorts, weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame. So let's see what the, um, the spreadsheet looks like. So for the longs, um, on the dailies, I've gone for ETSY as an example today of one of the signals, uh, potential longs here. So let's have a look at that chart. Okay, so here I just want to zoom out a little bit here for, for those members just to show you. I've isolated the bar count right here, not all the way at the low because we've had some plateaus uh, and some sideways action here and it's only from this low did we really get a really good bullish momentum move and then a pullback and it's that wave 4 pullback that we want to measure there that profit taking so with this Elliott, Elliott wave indicator sweep from wave 5 trade um, I've isolated the bar count down at this low here um, and this version is for Ninja Trader but it also is available for TradeStation and Think or Swim so the next thing we want to look at, the, the signals that we that give on the membership service are filtered in that they give the oscillator pullback. So this oscillator is now pulled back, the 535 oscillator is pulled back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the wave 3 for the oscillator. So that's good, that's a good tick in the box. The, the stochastic keeps tipping the oversold zone, we have this at 20 not 25. Um, so that's almost there, it just needs to cross over in the oversold zone. So there may be a little bit more bearish action here, but we seem to be running out of juice and momentum down at these wave 4 lows here with these two last days um, just showing indecision there. This is the daily chart, we're looking for a long on the daily chart on ETSY. So what I've done is gone to set up here. First of all, let's just have a quick uh, look at the wave count. So we've got the one, the two, we've got a big wave three, and that's a normal Elliott wave rule. The longest and the strongest wave is the wave three. We've had quite a sedate pullback here, profit taking. We've had some rejections at these lows on these candles here, and we seem to be running out of juice, seem to be consolidating uh, at these sort of levels. These um, coloured zones here are our pullback zones. At the moment it looks like the wave 4 found support in the amber zone and the amber zone um, gives an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zones here in blue. So setting this up is quite simple. We want the stop loss just below the low of the wave 4. So I've gone for something like a, um, it's an 1881 low, so it's a, an 1878 stop loss, so just a few cents there. With the entry, we can go reasonably aggressive right outside our 6.4 moving average high um, as our normal entry strategy, but we've got to take into consideration previous price action and rejections of moves up recently. Uh, here, so this was a rejection here. So I've gone for an entry just above this pivot point outside of the 6 4 moving average high for Monday's bar position. So an entry at 2028 gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our target zone of around about 22.70 all the way up to $23, really. So that's just a quick setup from one of our signals for a long on ETSY on the daily time frame. May not trigger today, uh, but it's a good setup as long as we don't break that wave for low um, and we start to move higher. This should be a good setup to go along at 2028. If it does break the wave four, we've got to find out where it finds support. It may be in a red zone, which is a 75% probably it's going to go on and make a new wave five high. But I don't think the entry should change because we need to be conservative above this pivot point here. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and a great week.